Uh, for the week four uh, lecture, I want to talk about job analysis. Um, the text gives us a pretty good definition that it's a process that determines the essence of a collection of tasks falling within the scope of a particular job title. So job analysis is designed to reveal the tasks performed on a specific job. Um, if we look at the uses uh, for job analysis, uh, number one, it's functional. It describes the tasks to be performed. Number two, it's foundational because it supports so many different processes within the organization to include job description, selection, placement, evaluation, and training. And it has a legal function that uh, it uh, literally uh, satisfies a legal need uh, uh, based upon court decisions. Uh, Clifford uh, provides a nice list uh, um, of principles uh, in doing a job analysis. Number one, all jobs can be analyzed and recorded and, and should be. Uh, job analysis can enhance communication. The process of analyzing jobs can easily accommodate change. In other words, you can update these things on a regular basis. Uh, the process can be clear enough so that both employees and employers can understand and contribute to the process. In other words, it's straightforward. Uh, the process, they, they might say also, there's no jargon other than jargon used on the job so the, the employee would know. The process can be designed so that all personnel decisions can be based upon the data. And that also prevents uh, uh, liability. And skill, knowledge, and ability can be defined uh, in operational terms. And lastly, job analysis is based on observable behaviors and work products. So it contributes to efficient human resource management. And nearly everything that needs to be written to explain the work of a job uh, is already written. Uh, let's talk for a second about uh, uh, the legal basis in the Griggs uh, versus uh, Duke Power. It, uh, it outlined uh, the need for uh, job analysis and, uh, and in particular in selection. When selection is evolved, the selection process should focus on evaluating the person for the job, the specific job, and not the evaluating the purpose, the person in abstract. So that was important. Uh, Kirkland versus uh, New York uh, State Department of uh, Correctional Services. In other words, the court ruled that uh, their ruling was based upon uh, the absence of a job analysis, and there should have been one. And then uh, Albert Marley Paper Company versus Moody. Uh, once again, the court uh, uh, outlined a need for job analysis and also said that a job analysis used, conducted on one job could be used for other jobs if they were similar in nature. Uh, the American Disabilities Act of 1990 also uh, amplified the importance of job analysis and a, a job analysis determines the essential functions by the way, essential functions are the key words there of a job and is used for deciding if a person with a disability can perform the job. The burden of reasonable accommodation, that's important, reasonable accommodation is placed on the employer and a job analysis must exist in determining this. So um, uh, the courts uh, shape that through uh, the decisions. Um, American Disabilities Act and Essential Functions. Uh, an ADA appropriate job analysis focuses on identifying the essential functions and should be outcome focused versus uh, process focused. Um, the uh, HR specialist of Florida uh, asks uh, some pretty good questions for a legal audit. Uh, for example, on job description, does the job description exist for every position? It should, and it, be sh and it should be supported by job analysis. Uh, do you, if you're in a leader role, regularly review job descriptions and update them 
update them to reflect changes in employee responsibilities. In other words, it's important that they're current. And once again, do leaders provide employees with written copies of their job descriptions? Uh, in auditing a job description, is the job title accurate? Uh, does the job title still reflect the position's responsibilities? In other words, is it current? Are job titles consistent throughout the organization? And does uh, the job description include appropriate qualifications for the position? Uh, does the job description accurately reflect the requirements of the job? Are the job functions and performance standards easy to understand? And are they free of references to age, race, gender, religion, disability, or any other protected characteristic? So that's, uh, once again, an important uh, consideration. Um, if you search job analysis uh, in the library, you'll see there's a lot of literature on job analysis and legal considerations. You'll get lots of hits on a, a generic word search. Um, so I, you know, I'd recommend once again that you take a look, get in the library, as especially uh, um, the uh, IO psychology databases like uh, uh, the the ProQuest psychology, and uh, and do a search and see what's there. Um, these are the references. Uh, used in the information and you'll find all of this in uh, the transcript I provide. Thank you.